right. Well, um, the example four here is about elasticity. So should we try that? Or did you want to do some homework? Do you have some homework problems about that? Yeah. Okay. Try number twenty-one. I don't know if it's the same for you. Is this about the movie theater? Yeah. Yeah. Looks the same. Good. So let's look at number twenty-one. This is a couple concepts we haven't talked about yet, but I guess we can use this to talk about those. So taking a look at part A, any ideas about how we might start working on part A? Maybe, uh, so in order to do this, let's cover a, a couple other concepts, first of all. So, you would have to see if it was greater or less than one. Yeah, so let's review the, the concepts that we need. Now, um, it would help to motivate this a little. Why would anyone care about the elasticity of demand? Well, let's say that you're a business person and you're trying to make more money, right? Well, one thing you have to decide is whether it would be a good idea to lower your prices. Well, there's two effects from lowering your prices. There's a good effect and there's a bad effect from the business person's point of view. What's the advantage to the business person of lowering their prices? Well, yeah. You would expect that more people would buy their product. But what's the disadvantage? You get less money for each of those. I guess the disadvantage is that the prices are lower. The disadvantage of lowering your prices is you're charging a lower price, and the advantage is the demand goes up. So we want to know which of these effects is going to be greater. Um, so we basically want to compare the percentage change in the demand with the percentage change in the price. If demand goes up by a greater percent and the price goes down, then on, on, uh, on, 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 on the whole, you're going to make money. On the other hand, if the demand goes up by a smaller percentage and then the price goes down, even though you're selling more, you're not going to make more money. Well, this is the exact concept to use to compare the percentage change in the demand and the percentage change in the price. Uh, and what matters, remember, is whether this is bigger or smaller than this. Well, if the percentage change in the demand is bigger than the percentage change in the price, what will the elasticity be? It'll be bigger than one, right? If these were equal, um, then this would be equal to one. So, if you have an elasticity of 1, what does that mean? It means that the demand is changing by the same percentage as the price. So, what's going to happen to your total revenue? Yeah, it doesn't change because the price goes up and the demand goes down. Now, suppose the elasticity is greater than 1. Then who's changing more, the demand or the price? Um, the, the demand. demand. Yeah. If this ratio is bigger than 1, that must be because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Not any last. Well, let's think about uh, that here. Um, so does this tell us that the, the demand is very changeable or very inflexible? Very changeable. That's right. So would you say that this demand is elastic or inelastic? The demand is elastic. Elastic, right. I, I, it sounded like you might have said inelastic, uh, or maybe I misheard. But this is the case of elastic demand. The demand is elastic. Elastic means changeable. Well, the point here is that by lowering the price, the business person can squeeze out a lot more demand. So this is the case of elastic demand. OK. By the way, I should have said that this case is sometimes called unit elasticity. I don't know if your instructor used that term, but when the elasticity is 1, that could be called unit elasticity. 
When the elasticity is greater than one, we have elastic demand. So when we lower the price in this case, what's going to happen to the total revenue? Up, down, or stay the same? Um, this case. It's going to get greater. Right. Based on this, right. the revenue will go up because of the increase in demand. It will go down because of the decrease in price. But the change in demand is going to outweigh the change in price. So if a manufacturer thinks that they're facing elastic demand, well, they should try to take advantage of that by lowering their prices. And the demand will elastically respond by going up by a lot. And then suppose that the percentage change in the demand is less than the percentage change in the price. What does that tell you numerically about the elasticity? Less than Because now the numerator would be smaller than the denominator. Of course, these are all coming up positive because we're, we adjusted that in our formula. Now, what's the name for this situation? This would be inelastic. And that should be a pretty intuitive name. Inelastic means not very changeable. Well, here, even though we lowered our price, the, pe the consumers are not responding by very much. So now when we lower the price, what's going to happen to the total revenue? It doesn't change very much. Will the total revenue go up go or down, down or stay the same? The demand doesn't change very much, oh, therefore okay. the total revenue goes down. So we don't want to confuse what's happening to the demand okay. with what's happening to the revenue. Remember that total revenue is price, well, times quantity demanded. So we just have to take into account the two effects from the price change and the demand change. Well, here the demand is going up, but only by a little. And the price is going down by more, so the total revenue is going to go down. So in which of these cases is the manufacturer probably going to want to lower their prices? Well, when, the second one. Yeah, they might want to lower their prices here, because that would give them more revenue. Right. By, because the demand would go up by a lot. When would the manufacturer probably want to increase their prices? The third. Yeah, because it's decreasing the demand. It's decreasing this we can just reverse this idea. They could increase their prices, and demand will go down, but only by a little bit. So um, overall, their revenue is going to go up. So this is, uh, this is the kind of thing that manufacturers have to think about all the time when they're setting their prices. They have, um, they have uh, economists that they hire to estimate how elastic their demand is. And if the economist says that they're facing elastic demand, maybe they should lower their prices to take advantage of it. And if the economist says that they're facing inelastic demand, well, maybe in that case they should raise their prices. Because inelastic demand means you're going to keep having almost as many consumers even if you raise your prices. Now, this is not the whole story, because what the business person really cares about is profit, not revenue. So even if you're going to be able to get a greater revenue, that doesn't necessarily say you're going to get a greater profit. So this is only part of what they would use to make their decision. But this is part of how they would decide how much to produce. Okay. All right, now I think we're ready for number 21. Any ideas how about, how about, about how we might start on this? Um, take the derivative of Q. Yes. So let's do that. What is the derivative of Q? Good. Now, first of all, the derivative of this term will be 0, because it's a constant. And here's an issue we talked about before. If there were variables on both the top and the bottom here, then we would need the quotient rule to find the derivative. But on top, all we have is a constant. So we don't need a complicated rule. The first thing to do here is make p is a negative 1. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I think you might have dropped a 0 here, by the way. Maybe 
maybe not. Anyway, we rewrite this in terms of an exponent. And now this looks like the, a very normal type of thing that we would know how to take the derivative of. And the derivative of this is zero. Good. Then what? Um, use the formula. Yeah, use the formula. Sounds good to me. All right. So we can use this formula that we just learned for calculating elasticity. So let's try working that out on paper. 